In this video, I'll do a standard mixture problem in which we have to figure out what quantity of two solutions to mix together. Household bleach contains 6% sodium hypochlorite. The other 94% is water. How much household bleach should be combined with 70 liters of a weaker 1% hypochlorite solution in order to form a solution that's 2.5% sodium hypochlorite. I want to turn this problem into a system of equations. So I'm asking myself, what quantities are going to be equal to each other? Well, the total amount of sodium hypochlorite, that has symbol NaClO, before mixing, it should equal the total amount of sodium hypochlorite after mixing. Also, the total amount of water before mixing should equal the total amount of water after. And finally, the, just the total amount of solution in my two jugs, sodium hypochlorite together with water, should equal the total amount of solution after. That gives me a hint for what I'm looking for, but before I start writing out equations, I find it very helpful to chart out my quantities. So I've got the 6% solution, the household bleach, I've got the 1% solution, and I've got my desired ending 2.5% solution. Now in each of those solutions, I've got a certain volume of sodium hypochlorite. I've also got a volume of water and I've got a total volume of solution. Let me see which of these boxes I can actually fill in. I know that I'm adding 70 liters of the 1% solution, so I can put a 70 in the total volume of solution here. I don't know what volume of the household bleach I want to add. That's what I'm trying to find out. So I'm going to just call that volume X. Now since my 2.5% solution is made by combining my other two solutions, I know its volume is going to be the sum of these two volumes. So I'll write 70 plus X in this box. Now the 6% solution means that whatever the volume of solution is, 6% of that is the sodium hypochlorite. So the volume of the sodium hypochlorite is going to be 0.06 times x. The volume of water in that solution is whatever's left, so that's going to be x minus 0.06x or 0.94 times x. With following the same reasoning, for the 1% solution, 1% of the 70 liters is the sodium hypochlorite, so that's going to be 0.01 times 70, or 0.7. The volume of water in that solution is going to be 99% or 0.99 times 70. That works out to 69.3. Finally, for the 2.5% solution, the volume of the sodium hypochlorite is going to be 0.025 times the volume of solution, 70 plus x. And the volume of water is going to be the remainder, so that's 0.975 times the 70 plus x. Now I've already used the fact that the volume of solutions before added up is the volume of solution after in writing a 70 plus x in this box but I haven't yet used the fact that the volume of the sodium hypochlorite is preserved before and after. So I can write that down as an equation. So that means 0.06x plus 0.7 is equal to 0.025 times 70 plus x. Now I've got an equation with a variable. I'll try to solve it. Since I don't like all these decimals, I'm going to multiply both sides of my equation by, let's see, a thousand should get rid of all the decimals. After distributing, I get 60x plus 700 
equals 25 times 70 plus x. Distributing some more, I get 60x plus 700 is equal to 1750 plus 25x. So let's see, 60 minus 25 is 35x is equal to 1050, which gives me that x equals 30 liters of the household bleach. Notice that I never actually had to use the fact that the water, quantity of water before mixing is equal to the quantity of water after. That is, I never used the information in this column. In fact, that information is redundant. Once I know that the quantities of sodium hypochlorite add up and the total volumes of solutions add up, the fact that the volume of waters add up is just redundant information. The techniques to use to solve this equation involving solutions can be used to solve many, many other equations involving mixtures of items. My favorite method is to first make a chart involving the types of mixtures and the types of items in your mixture, fill in as many boxes as I can, and then use the fact that the quantities add.